How's it going, WC? We're back at it with another senior spotlight interview. Today we have uh, the beloved Chad Smith. Hello. And we're going to be uh, getting to know him a little better. So, Chad, how many years have you been attending Worthington Christian? I'm a lifer, so I've been here since Ooh, kindergarten. Preschool, wow. actually. Yeah. I'm a lifer. He's a lifer, guys. I'm a lifer. Do you have any, like, hobbies outside of school that you like? Hobbies outside of school? Well, I like to draw. I like, oh, you I like, like to draw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like art, doodle, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I also do a lot of, like, writing on my own. Mm -hmm. Not, like, book writing, but, like, script writing type of things. Oh, really? I'm very, like, into that type of content. I don't know. Just for fun, or is it for Oh, something? yeah, mostly for fun. I want to, like, kind of get something out there, but mm -hmm. I'm very, uh, how do I put it? I'm not super confident in what I'm <laughs> what I create, yeah. so it's like yeah. eh, I, don't, I don't know. It's like I, I could put this out there, but I'm just gonna keep it to myself. Make... Got to work on it a little bit, tweak it, tweak it, tweak it a little bit. Yeah, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Do you make cartoons? Uh, how would you define cartoons? Just like how would you define cartoons? Ooh, tough question. I mean, you say I can see <laughs> you do make some sort of cartoon, but I don't know what that is. Well, so you define it. I, 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 I do a lot of doodling. I do a lot of doodling. What does that consist of? Consists of a lot of faces, mm -hmm. a lot of dogs, uh -huh. a lot of, a lot more faces, mm. a lot more dogs. So how about like do you put the faces on the dogs <laughs> or is that yeah. I, mean, separate? I, mean, I, can, I can do i can do i, I can do like i don't know i i I'll, recently i've been trying to like uh recently sorry recently i've been trying to experiment more with a lot of other things so i've been looking at a lot yeah. of uh stuff like online i'm trying to work on like hair for instance and i'm trying oh, to yeah. work on like yeah i'm just trying to expand your... expand my scope from people from faces and dogs i'm like maybe i should like improve a little bit yeah i'm working on like shading and all that stuff like yeah. i, I want to like improve in order to at least go somewhere with it because cartoons is like what i want to do mm -hmm. yeah is that what you want to do like do you want to have that as a job one day? Is that your I mean, dream? Yeah, job? I'm, I'm. I'm planning on going to uh, Huntington University. Oh, really? Uh huh. And we're, I'm going into it, ma trying to major in uh, animation. Mm. And I'm going to try to get a minor in screenwriting. Oh. And I want to like, because I'm very into like story creating, and I'm also very into like animation. And though I'm not really fixated on the whole animation process, because that takes a lot of work, mm -hmm. and that's also very challenging. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I'm very like into that type of stuff. What advice would you give to underclassmen or people that, you know, have a hobby, but they feel like, I don't really want to pursue this in college because, you know, I need to study business or finance. Like, what do you say to someone who has something they love to do, but they're kind of afraid to pursue it in college? As someone who feels very unconfident in their own, like, art and their own writing and can, like, like I said this before, it's like, I like keep things to myself and just like this needs to be tweaked this needs to be like changed this needs to be whatever i'd say just because it's scary and just because you might not feel confident doesn't mean that you shouldn't keep trying to work and do better just because you're not the best of the best doesn't mean you can't improve doesn't mean you can't really mm -hmm. like put in the foot forward to like develop the skills that you have mm -hmm. and that's something that i've been struggling with a long time i'm like oh i'm i'm bad at this so therefore i should like try to keep that away it's like mm -hmm. i don't really want to but like at the same time like i'm passionate about it like yeah. like i'm into it so it's like well god's given you that love for it yeah so i mean he's giving it to might you for a reason so might as well tweak it like try to improve it. it yeah it's like it's like i'm a good runner it's like oh what this person's like faster than me Ugh, well, then who cares i don't want i don't need to run i need to do something else where i can be the best yeah. of the best and if that's your focus then you're not going to really get anywhere yeah because everyone's better than you at everything yeah there's, there's always, always there's always someone better than you mm -hmm. in almost everything if you know chad you know he's absolutely beloved by everyone chad i don't think anyone's asked you this but why do you think that is I just want to be a friend. Yeah. And I want to be loving to people. That you yourself as an individual are mm -hmm. not the main character 
of like life Mm -hmm. there's so many other people who are just as equally important as you Mm -hmm. and if you go at life with the focus that like i'm the main focus then you're not really going to be able to show love to other people you are not the main character of like life in general Mm -hmm. there are other people who have their own lives Mm -hmm. the things the own things that they're going through Mm -hmm. and if you're going at life with the focus that like it's all about me 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 and that Mm -hmm. doesn't need to necessarily be like an egotistical type of thing but like if you're too focused on like yourself you should be willing to show them love Mm -hmm. i think you should aim to be a light a light Mm -hmm. be a positive give a positive impact on their life Mm -hmm. be that like be that side character towards them be like hey i'm here to like and that doesn't necessarily mean you have to go at it being like i'm here to fix you or just be that side character that shows love if we're if we're coming from a storytelling perspective i think that's what be the flat character show love and be kind and you'll become like chad you will become the beloved classmate I mean, I mean, what can we say? <laughs> I mean, he's just be loved. So, Chad, that's all I have. Okay. Um, thank you so much. That was some really good content. Yeah. So, thank you, Tommy. Yeah, bro. Yes, sir.